and he kind of explained like none of these guys are being canceled and they shouldn't really be concerned with cancel culture because they're not. And it made me think I saw probably that morning a tweet or something. Bobcat Goldthwait, I guess, recently in an, did an interview somewhere and they asked him about cancel culture. And he goes, it's really hard for me to understand or really comprehend how millionaires are being canceled. He goes, someone's saying something bad about them. They're still going to go back to their million dollar jobs and make their millions of dollars. He's like, none of these people are really being canceled. It's just being treated this way. And it mm-hmm. just made me think, I'm like, yeah, Dave Chappelle's not going to get canceled. Bill right. Burr's not going to get canceled. Louis C.K. wasn't canceled. He's still working. Now, a large portion or a larger portion of the population thinks he's a creep, but he's still working. He didn't get canceled. Right. You know, and I actually saw a clip. I don't remember who the comedian was, but he was playing. It was just a, a clip I saw, and I think it might have gone viral. Maybe not. I don't know. Maybe I just, these clips come into my feed wherever because I watch so much stand-up comedy, but I wish I could remember who it was so I could give them credit for the joke, but it's not like it matters. But he was playing like a small place and um, he was talking about cancel culture. And and he said, guys, he's like, and again, I'm paraphrasing because I don't know the exact way he said it, but he's like, here's how you know cancel culture isn't real. And here's how you know Dave Chappelle will not be canceled. I go, the only way you're going to know Dave Chappelle is canceled if he's playing this place. And he pointed down at the ground, like meaning like if he's in my position, then perhaps we've canceled him a little bit, which is a fine, that's a good joke, whatever. They kind of like a throwaway joke. But at the same time, no, he's still working. It's not canceled. Um, and then my buddy brought up a guy who like really, who's really only been inflicted by cancel culture, like truly, but it was, it was self-inflicted was Michael Richards. Uh, what about Bill Cosby? He's a criminal. He went to jail. We're not talking about something he said. We're talking about okay. criminal activity. It's a little bit different than Dave Chappelle telling a story about his trans friend. Yeah. You know, it's a little bit different. Actually, it's a lot of bit different. But but do you think you think Richards is completely canceled? Do you think you think it's died down enough now to where he could probably get back out on the road if he wanted to? No, I doubt it. I doubt it. But again, it was self-inflicted. So. He did it to himself. He, but he's, I guess in interviews, he stated like, I don't want to be in the spotlight anymore. I don't want like, so I think he's just sort of walked away. So in a way people wanted to cancel him. And I think he canceled himself. I think he just said, fine, I'm done. But he's really the only one, you know, that got me thinking like, yeah, none of these guys have actually been canceled. You know, Shane Gillis lost his job at Saturday night live. That sucks. And I'm sure that's wouldn't have, I wouldn't have wanted to go through that. I don't, you know, to have gone through that, but he's still working. He just put out a special on YouTube. He's been on all the podcasts talking about it. Mm-hmm. And clearly he can pull people into a club because this, the special he shot, there were, this place was packed. So, I mean, were you canceled for a minute? Maybe, but you're fine now. You've recovered. So it's like, and I think what Bobcat Goldthwait was saying is like, I don't think cancel culture is even really a thing. I think it's just a, it's not a, it's not a real thing. It's just a trendy thing to, to sort of live by right now, but eventually he thinks it'll go away. Eventually. I think it's going to take a long time, but. I feel like I hear Bobcat, Bobcat Goldthwait's name like once a year. Potentially. Yeah. Like I don't hear, I don't hear anything about him, but like once a year. I hear somebody say his name about something that he said. And then again, I don't hear from him again for a year. <laughs> that's probably because he lives in the wood like you and he thinks Bigfoot is real. So that's probably okay. why you don't hear from him. <laughs> Are you a Bigfoot believer? Eh, no, not really. Okay. You think the earth is flat? Yeah, oh, yeah, for sure. Netflix is really going to meet these demands just because people walk out again. So it's not just going to be trans people. It's just going to be anybody who's all, who's a part of their call or who believes in their, this, this whole thing. But like, I don't think you're going to shut down Netflix. One of their demands was hire trans and non-binary content executives, especially BIPOC. Acknowledge the harm and Netflix, Netflix's responsibility for this harm from transphobic content and in particular harm to the black trans community. No, I'm not right. It's still notably removing Chappelle's special is, is not one of the demands. Huh. It's ridiculous. 
Yeah, so no, it's not one of their demands. They don't even want to pull the special. Right. So more restrictions. And more... Mm -hmm. uh, Was there anything homophobic or transphobic in that special to you? Legitimately. I don't... This is going to... You don't want to say. look like I'm just trying to bypass the question, but I don't think I'm in a position to answer that question. Oh, okay. Well, I think that's crazy <laughs> because we're all here together and we share a commonality of language and living in this world together. So, I mean, I think you should be able to perhaps give your opinion, but if you don't want to, I'll respect that. I won't force you to. <laughs> It's a very strange time we're living in. Dude.